How does knowledge come into being? One way is through co-evolution. Here we construct knowledge in an exchange between us, the individual, and the social system, the group. For example, a patient is suffering from depression. He believes that he can battle it with antidepressants only. He is caught up in this view. Since he is convinced of it, he only sees pharmaceutical solutions. His thought pattern continues to reproduce itself. He visits a patient forum online. Most of the patients active here are outspoken against antidepressants. Instead, they consider psychotherapy the best treatment for depression. This thought system also reproduces itself over and over. Just as within the cognitive system of the individual patient, the social system of the patient forum harbors a specific conviction about the cause of depression and how to treat it. When our patient tells the forum that he is taking medication, this leads to irritations, because two different points of view collide. Several processes of learning can now take place. Option 1. The forum convinces the patient of its view. He revises his position. A process of individual learning. Option 2. The patient wins the forum over to his point of view. The community takes up his opinion and discusses how medication might still be helpful. This is a process of collaborative construction of knowledge. Both systems, the individual and the social system, influence each other. When it comes to differences between them, like between the patient and the members of the patient forum, it can lead to an irritation of the other system, respectively. The systems react by changing. This process is called co-evolution. <laughs>